Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode, I hope I've reached enough UU matter. If I haven't made enough UU matter by the end of this episode, I'm going to make the next episode when I've got enough UU matter to make the fusion reactor. So let's have a look how we're doing for that at the moment. Let's have a look at my scrap. We've got 1.4 million and UU matter. Seven, oh, we haven't got enough by the looks of it. 474 that's gone up but it's it's going up slowly double check it's actually running come over here and make sure it's running it should be oh no we have a problem yeah that quite often happens when i start up the service let's go and sort that out first of all so what will have happened is that the rest the crafting will have broken so we just cancel all the all the Click this until I get rid of all of the things and then it should start to work again. There we go. And as soon as this starts to work, crafting photo glow, no job active, we should actually get some more. Well, this will carry on working, I guess. As you can see. And they're not in this chest at the moment, so there should be 32, oh, there's 42 there. So there should be some more coming into this chest and coming into here when it gets done. So hopefully, uh, it's got to go down. There we go. There it goes up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger it to craft some more anyway. So I'll craft a thousand or something like that. But don't ask me why it stops. It just does from time to time. So right, that's that sorted out. So there should be a carrying on with our, our scrap and our UU matter. And this time we should look at it, it should see it going up. I should have checked that first of all, shouldn't I? So, next thing to go and look at is I have finished off my armour processing bits and pieces and put it into this uh, compact machine here. Let me look around see if there's anything else I want to do. So let's have a look inside here. It's actually a lot simpler than it was. As you can see, I, everything comes into this chest, alchemist chest here, and gets repaired. In the, uh, actually, the swords I'm putting in myself. So they're getting repaired, and then so everything's ready. So what then I'll need to do is to come along here and extract. This is going to go into the Magna Crucible. Let's start with the let's start with the front here. Try again. I'll show this one. So this is just leather. So and it has to match the metadata. So it has to be completed, uh, repaired. And it's we're ignoring NBT data because we don't mind if it's enchanted or not. The a sawmill, which is goes into, will actually process it quite happily. This side here is for armor that's not enchanted and will produce liquid stuff so we've got we're matching mbt data and we're matching metadata and we're basically processing all of those um uh, all of those types of armor so chain iron and gold armor is getting processed obviously we're not processing diamond because we don't get that much in anyway so that's coming out they're getting exported straight into that the rest of these are just power cables here like this and the last of those is the ones for the opposite of those. So everything but that will go through into here. So look at this one. So this is all of the armor types that we've, we've done already, plus the leather. And then on this one here, it's got a blacklist. So they're all blacklisted. And we're matching NBT data and we're matching it metadata. But we're blacklisting those. So everything else should go through there. And these are all set to active with signal so let's i was going to do that next actually because what i've got here is some um, so i want to take this with me as well some insulated insulated copper redstone so conduit what we can do with this makes it look a bit complicated that's why i didn't put it down we can basically put it onto these blocks here like this do i have to shift right click right click it there we go that's wrong way around never mind and we'll do it here and we'll do it here and we'll connect it up to this one like that and i'll have to turn this one around so it'll actually connect to this one let's do this like this it should work that way yes it does good 
and the last one goes over here like this so we want to click connect to this one like that I have to get this activated as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the colour of these to green just to have a different colour this one's not connected either is it let's connect this one up so all I'm doing is right clicking on those I don't want it connecting to here because this will be already always active anyway let's check it oh that one's going to be good let's check it so that's those are the inputs and outputs and it's always disabled so it's always going to be active so we can take this one off this one we don't care about that one oops try again <laughs> I've just turned the item duct off as well just do that one and then come around here like this and put that one back again there we go in fact it's still the wrong way around it needs to be an import or an insert so that should do it so all I need to do now is to switch this on like that and you can see that everything lights up so and you can hear noises so it's grinding helmets they're getting imported into the buses at the top this one should be smelting some inventory let's double check it. it's working active with signal yes it is and you can see new bits are coming in as they go through. I'm surprised I'm not seeing stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what's wrong with this one? It's active and it's lit up. You can see stuff coming in and out. Whether it's going in and out fast enough, I don't know. Obviously, you can't do increase the speed of it. It's probably just busy at the moment just doing one of the items but I'm not sure why this is not actually exporting active with signal extract insert it should come into here anyway so it does work so this is working and the magna crystal should be also working it's got too much molten steel in it at the moment uh -huh. <laughs> That might be the problem actually so this has got my this has got molten steel in it and that should get imported out through this one but maybe the molten steel maybe the thing's already filled up import bus check it now that looks empty okay that might have a problem in that case so let's go and sort that out if we can what I wanted to do is to upgrade this just in case I wanted to move it. So let's do that as well while I'm thinking about it. So right click this another star on that. And that gets the border. So it's now upgraded, which we can see from this. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So that means that I created this 64k storage cell, didn't I? Put five units in it and it's already full. <laughs> uh great. Let's have a look at what's actually in here. Probably something like iron's filled it up. What have we got in here? Liquid gold, 161 buckets, 11 buckets of steel. Liquid iron's not very much. 16,000 molten iron. I reckon the molten iron's the problem. Now, I don't think we can partition this to say I don't want molten iron in here. But what I could do is to put something else in there. But of course now it's too late. So <laughs> we, we have to basically... Uh, I didn't take it out, did I? Oh, anyway, so yes, it says it's red, so that makes more sense now. So that's why the molten steel's not going in. Let's put that into that. Put this one back into here. I have to think of a way around that. Which will basically create another, uh, another thing. Um, another storage component in here. I suspect they're all fairly full, are they? That one's not doing too badly for a nine six thousand. So that's a massive one. What have we got in here? You can shift click it in when it's actually in this hotbar from positions one to uh, four to to nine, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have in here anything that we can actually get rid of but it's not full I really should have put iron into that one and made sure it was, had iron in it shouldn't I so there we are my mistake if I shift it click it it'll push it like that way around 
Okay, so I've got a bit of a problem now. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of the molten steel. It won't get any, none of them will process actually. That's probably what the problem is. Ha! Huh. I nearly fixed it yesterday. Hmm, okay, never mind. But you see the principle. And that should work just fine. I've got too much. Actually, the trouble is I've got too much moon rock coming in. It's not coming in anymore, it's just processing the existing rock. So everything in there is nothing is coming in here. But if we look for moon. Oops. I've got 561,000. Going down slowly because that's getting sieved and it's producing iron, of course, which is then getting smelted and put into the system. Okay, good. Now, what else did I want to have a look at? You matter. Let's see how many we can do with these things anyway. What might be a good idea is for the is to export the um, antimony ingots. Where are the antimony ingots gone to? So we've got all this leather armor that will also not help. That'll fill up the system as well. So I've got 24. I need another 40 of these. So we've got to wait another 326 UU matter, which is going to take a long time. What I could do, of course, is auto craft these by setting up a mini chest. And by a mini chest, let's look at that one. Mini. Oh, it won't work. Let's look at chest. We've got 11, that'll do. Let's put one of those in there. We'll get these mini chests and they actually hold one stack of items. So I could simply export that into there and it'll just go through like that. Okay, good. So that's that dealt with. I'm just having a think I've actually could filter this out. Because it would be good not to have the blockage of that. I'm just sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted there, aren't I? So that's that bit dealt with. Well, I think I've got to make another storage shell, hadn't I? Let's do that. So, I need some tanks. I think I need some drums. I've got one drum. I could, make, I could craft another one. Let's craft one more. It might not work because I think... Well, I'll check it. Let's start that. Um, what have I got for XP on me? Nothing. Well, there is a bug, which I've discovered. I'm going to share that one while I'm, while I'm thinking about it. So the bug is this. Here I've got no XP on me, have I? If I come out of here like this and just take, say, 10 levels of XP. 16. See? I've actually got 16 levels. That's strange. Let's push everything back again and just take, say, 10. Okay. And then when I come out of here, that XP's gone. If I go back in again, this is actually, an, I think it's a cosmetic bug, this one. So we take one level. So now I've got 11. I've got 11 XP. I've actually still got the XP when I'm going out, in and out. It just it's a visual bug, really. And it's been reported, and he's not going to fix it because this is a 1710 mod pack. Which is a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? So what I was going to make now is I'm going to make another 64k storage for these ores, I think. So let's do that, because I haven't done one of those on camera yet. So in my bag here, I've got a 64k cell component. Let's take that out of there. And I think what we do with this, let's have a look at the uses of that. We want to make a fluid one. So we need a drum and that in the assembly table will make a 64k fluid storage component. Have I got that in this recipe actually? I don't think I've set it up. No. So let's go and let's go and set that up while we're while we're here. Straightforward. I think I have done it. Yes, I've I've done one here. So I put that and that in there like that. It's a, it will activate this. If I come along here, see this is now working. This should be now be full as it was before. We turn that off. Wait a few seconds. We should see the the lasers come here for a few seconds. Might have even finished. <laughs> it's already yeah. It's so fast that one you don't even see it anymore. And I did put up the more banks of lasers. I didn't tell you about that last time, did I? I said I was going to do it, and I have done it. So I was enchanting these like crazy. That's how I discovered that XP uh, problem. <laughs> or, because, yeah, bug really. 
So that's okay. So now we should have the 64k fluid storage. I'm not going to, obviously going to set up a recipe for this because it just doesn't take very long. So now we're going to use this. What's the uses of this one? Basically just this one like this. Am I missing? Oh, yes, I'm missing tanks, aren't I? Let's do that again. I'll take that out, in fact, because it's easier. And I need three of these. Right, good. Put those in. Now I can do the uses of this one. Make a 64k storage component like that. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put that into here and I'm going to prime it with things that we actually the moment it should be completely empty so I'm going to prime it with five fluids so what I'm going to do for that is I need some tanks oh, I've probably got some tanks in the bag here yeah 20 I'm going to take out five of these like that and I'm going to go and get some fluids so let's go downstairs and go into that room it was wrong one see it's got power on the bottom by the way the room and that's sufficient to run all these machines so we know the one that's blocked is this one over here in fact, the multi... That's interesting, because now we've got a sword in there. Okay. Ah. Yes, molten steel is going to be a bit awkward. I can't do that one so easily. But I probably can do from here. There's nothing in there, is there? Leather's no problem. So this is the one that's a bit of a problem, because it's got uh, molten steel in it, which I can't get out. So the way to get it out is to use a... Um, Fluid transposer. Let's go and get a fluid transposer. I've got one. For, I've got one ready made. So let's have a look at that one. We've made them before. Fluid magnet crucible fluid transposer. There we go. So we're going to take this one. Go downstairs. Put it into this machine here like this. Oh, come facing the wall. It's funny, funny that, isn't it? So let's put the fluid transposer down here, for instance. And then let's um, link these two together. So I want to basically look at this one. I want to shift that. I want the input on the left hand side. I want to put the tanks in there like that. And then I want the output from this one to go also on the right hand side here, like that. And you can see we're getting through molten gold in here like that. And molten steel's coming across into here and filling up this tank. So let's take this tank here and go and prime that. On the other on the other machine, on the machine. I'm going to also take some more tanks as well. I've got plenty over here, look, of stuff that we actually don't really use very often. So let's just take a tank of each one of these. Oops, a bit too heavy. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Oops, that was a bit careless. Let's jump up the gully. That one, and that one I can reach. Good. And maybe I should use a different pickaxe, but it's. So I want four. We'll do this one as well. What have we got? Enderium. Dark steel. Okay, that's fine. We'll put all of these into that. I think I need I think I need liquid gold as well. Let's go into here like this. Can we yes we can. So we can put these each one of these into there so we actually get a primed fluid and of course we can easily take them out again because there's only a small bit like that so that's its five things so now if we look at this it'll be yellow well, that one fl flying around never mind so let's take this out if you like that and then put this into another storage unit let's put it into this one at the top here so that's now got that and that should start to increase so all we need to do now is to go and check what's downstairs i'm a bit puzzled as to what's going on with the left hand side one because it doesn't seem to be getting any items we'll see just check it out so you yeah you can see everything here is getting non-enchanted varieties of things so why are they not coming out of this let's check this again so it's whitelisted matching metadata matching that and it's showing those so everything that should come out our oh, color Yes, it's on the green signal channel, so it should get a signal channel. Okay, well, let's make it always act always active, see if it actually works. Uh -huh. So it seems not to be getting the signal properly from that one. 
so mode input output color green strong signal i think probably need to tick strong signal on it and then we can basically change this to active with signal and see if it still works what have we got here liquid gold good that one should it's actually working a oh, liquid liquid steel okay good so that's the other one we need to take out of here liquid steel and liquid gold and then we can put that into the tank into the uh, into the storage unit above so let's take it out of this one so let's put it back into this chest again and we can work on it that way so this is the basically the principle I've got using. So we've got molten steel, we'll take out these two here. Like that. And then we can put in it these two elements. Let's take that out of there of course. Put that one in. Liquid gold tank. <laughs> this is another bit buggy thing. That should actually fill in, shouldn't it? So what I think I have to do is remove this and put it back in again. Yes, now it, you see where it was green then. So we can put the liquid gold in here like that. And we can put the liquid steel in here like that. So they're now there. So now I can take this out of here. And put that into this again. So that should then start to work. Let's go and check that. Such challenges, I don't know. Of course, I don't need this now anymore. I can get rid of this one. So we can basically turn this off. So we don't get any inputs to that one. So we've got some molten iron and we can put some... Oh, it's already got a tank in there already. So some molten liquid, molten steel. And that should be working as well. So that's empty. Fantastic. And this one hasn't got anything in it again. <laughs> so let's just turn... That's right. Let's set this to always active. So have to carry on working and then this chest is slowly empty which it ha is doing it takes longer for this one because this is actually slow so we should be getting liquid steel liquid gold and liquid iron so, we can, so that's that that's the whole process but don't ask me why this is not working this particular one. I probably have to break it and put it down again or something daft like that I've seen this before some weird some weird bugs on it and don't ask me why because that's gr color green it's active with signal should have worked but it's not so we'll leave it like that so that is the end of the processing of those things so they will all have enough capacity now to go into whatever we do with it should just process them all quite happily so if we actually go back upstairs again and those, by the way, just mark as different types of mint, which I color recolored. Or you just take it and you do Alt, sh uh, Control on it, and it changes the type. So I just chose that one, and that indicates where a power supply is underneath. In fact, there's lots of them down there. So let's have a look at this again. Yeah, I need to look at this one, don't I? I so say we can see molten nickel. Right, we want the liquid ones. I mean, that's liquid iron which will go up slowly, but then likely the one that's going to get with liquid gold. We've already got 174 buckets of liquid gold. And that's the only way I've been getting it, it's from the armor. So it, it works quite nicely. And this this 64K storage here will probably remain empty for quite a long time. So they've got 273 fluids in there, so it's not a huge amount. Right. That's it for this episode. I am stuck on you matter until that happens. I'm not I'll come back then. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.